A local nonprofit group that's been under federal investigation has now sold its church, which was at the center of controversy after the group used part of a $750,000 grant to buy the building. Investigative reporter Mike Mason has the very latest. Mike. Yeah, guys, in December of 2021, Revive got that federal grant money to build a food pantry in South Anchorage. But instead, after City Hall changed the original grant language, Revive used some of that money to buy the church, which has now just been sold. A U-Haul truck is now in front of the church that has been the center of the grant controversy. Revive Alaska Community Services was awarded a $750,000 ARPA grant from the city of Anchorage in December of 2021. ARPA is a federal COVID relief program. We are becoming the only food pantry serving both South Anchorage and Midtown. Revive's president, Prince Wonkadu, told assembly members the grant would go towards repairing this barn in South Anchorage, which the nonprofit was using as a makeshift food pantry. But when Revive received the money, it tore down the barn, saying it was beyond repair, and used part of the funds to purchase this church in Midtown instead. Now the church has been sold to the Alaska Corporation of Seventh-day Adventists. They're based in South Anchorage. We went to Revive's church, and someone there wanted to know what we were doing. They told us to contact Wonkadu directly. Okay, I already emailed them yesterday. They wouldn't speak with us on camera, and we did email Wonkadu, but we still haven't received a response. And at this point, we still haven't heard back from anyone at Revive. We don't know if they'll reopen their food pantry someone else, where, there or somewhere else, but we do know that the church was originally purchased in June of 2022, and according to the MLS, Revive paid $1.8 million for it. The church was then listed for sale by Wonkadu for $2.2 million, and according to the MLS, it closed yesterday for $1.96 million, guys.